Hello and welcome. Today we will learn how we can download Java JDK and install it without doing a login. So let's see a demo. You must have seen nowadays whenever you try to download JDK, you are required to log into Oracle. For example, I will say Java JDK download on Google. And if I go to this website that is from Oracle, here you will see as soon as I will go to JDK download and if I take some earlier version of Java JDK and try to download from here, it will ask me for a login. Now for some latest versions, it may not ask you to log into the account, but for earlier versions, you may be required to log in. So what you can do for that is, for example, you can see here, I directly went to this link. So I went to Google and searched for java jdk download this is what i searched for and the first link i got was from oracle and when i go here i go and you can see this is the latest jdk which it shows by default which is 16 as of now so you can see this is jdk 16 now you can directly go and change the version here for example i need jdk 8 so i will say 8 here and then hit enter so it will now take me to java jdk 8 downloads however if i now go and try to download for example i am on windows and if i go here and try to get the windows 64 zip file so here you can see we have zip as well as we have exe if i go here and if i click on this and say download jdk you will see it takes me to this account sign in page but i do not want to do that for that i can directly go to the last page that is jdk8 downloads from oracle and here you can see it says oracle also provides latest open jdk release under the open source gpl license at this particular website so you can directly go to this this is jdk.java.net if i click here you can see here now I can get all these JDKs from 7 to 16 as of now. At your time it can be a little different. For example now I want JDK 8 so I will click on 8 here and now I will go to this windows. I am on windows. I will click this. It will start downloading this zip folder. I will go and see the zip folder. It is here on my downloads folder. Let me show you this. So it is here. now. If I go on my command prompt, if you are on Mac, you can go to your terminal and if I say Java space hyphen version and check the Java version on my system, you can see it is Java 11 already set up. Now in case you have any different version or you even if you do not have Java, if you see a message like command not found, do not worry, I will tell you how to set this up. So now I want to use Java 8 or JDK 8. So first I will extract this and put in my c program files java folder so if you go to your c drive and go to program files you will see a folder called java if you do not see it here it can be in c program files x86 folder and you can also create this java folder and here you can see i have jdk 11 14 and jdk 15 but as of now the environment variables are set for jdk 11 so the first thing i will do is i will have to extract my jdk 8 folder here so i will go here jdk 8 right click extract all and i will browse to c program files let me show you from scratch i am browsing to my c drive program files and going to my java folder and this is where i will extract this so i will click on extract and this will extract the folder on my c program files java folder and then i will set the environment variables to set java 8 or jdk 8 on my system so let's just wait for this extraction to be complete and this is done and now I will go here you can see my Java 8 has come here and we also have a bin folder here so just copy this location of your Java 8 which is this one and then go to your environment variables you can directly search for environment variables and 
uh, click edit the system environment variables or you can do a right click on my computer or this PC go to properties and here let me close all the earlier windows here go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables here you will find the environment variable called java home this is in capital java underscore home now just in case you do not find this you can create a new environment variable by the name java underscore home and then in my case it is already here there so i will click on edit if you do not have it click on new and create a new environment variable called java underscore home and now in the variable value i will change the location from java jdk 11 which is as of now on my system to java 8 and of course if it is new you can just add the location of java 8 as the variable value say ok and the next thing is we have to go to path environment variable click on edit and here you have to add the path until the bin folder of your java jdk folder so that means i will have to go until the until the bin folder that is this path i will have to copy in my path environment variables and a better way and efficient way is you say percent java underscore home percent so this will take whatever value is there in your java home and environment variables and append bin to it so i am saying percent java underscore home percent and then backslash bin so it will take the value from the java home and then append bin and then that's it you can if you do not find this you can always create new from here and do the same thing i will say ok and ok and close all the things now open a new command prompt and let me check the java version so if i say java space hyphen version and you can see now i have java 8 or jdk 8 to check the compiler version i will say java c space hyphen version and here as well i have java 8 do not worry if you do not see compiler version but now we have java 8 on our system and we can start using it and this is how you can use and install java and jdk without login i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching and never stop learning